Rhyme time talk, we the champs in the zone, east coast to west, every throne known and shown, the box and unbiased truth in every puff piece, power pound kings, the talks never see, check the stats, fight stack, gloves flying fast, KOs rewinding, every punch lands last, jabs like poetry, hooks like history, uncover the mystery, every fight a victory, check the stats, fight stack, gloves flying fast, KOs rewinding, every punch lands last, jabs like poetry, hooks like history, uncover the mystery, every fight a victory. Prime time, prime grind, every rhyme so refined. True to the sport, no bias, we shine. Fist up in the ring, our voices do sing. From 9 to 90 at night, we the boxing king. East to west, coast to coast, prime time the most. Raising every toast, talk so smooth, flow with venom. Truth in the rhythm, no biased algorithm. Analysts breaking down round a glorious round Unbiased coverage making the sound profound Fighter profiles every style compiled Games by strategy casuals beat the god Crime time prime grind every rhyme so refined True to the sport no bias we shine Fist up in the ring our voices do sing From 9 to 90 at night we the boxing king Rhyme time talk, we the champs in the zone, east coast to west, every throne known and shown, the box and unbiased truth in every puff piece, power pound kings, the talks never see, check the stats, fight stack, gloves flying fast, KOs rewinding, every punch lands last, jabs like poetry, hooks like history, uncover the mystery, every fight a victory, check the stats, fight stack, gloves flying fast, KOs rewinding, every punch lands last, jabs like poetry, hooks like history, uncover the mystery, every fight a victory. Prime time, prime grind, every rhyme so refined. True to the sport, no bias, we shine. Fist up in the ring, our voices do sing. From 9 to 90 at night, we the boxing king. East to west, coast to coast, prime time the most. Raising every toast, talk so smooth, flow with venom. Truth in the rhythm, no biased algorithm. Analysts breaking down round a glorious round Unbiased coverage making the sound profound Fighter profiles every style compiled Games by strategy casuals beat the god Prime time prime grind every rhyme so refined True to the sport no bias we shine Fist up in the ring our voices do sing From 9 to 90 at night we the boxing king Oh man, let's go ahead and jump on into this video, shall we? Man, oh man, I tell you, boy, your boy Shakur Stevenson is heating up everything. But let me tell you something that ain't strange and something that a lot of boxing fans around the world will know is, is that your boy Oscar De La Hoya came out and spoke on Shakur Stevenson. Yeah, you know, because Shakur is a free agent and Shakur is basically shopping around and trying to see what company he wanted to sign with well sounds to me that oscar del hoy either knows something or he don't know nothing and he just pretty much uh clap back that the wrong person but anyway oscar del hoy did a video called clap back thursdays basically he was saying that oh you know we use a peta in order to fight shakur stevenson but hey um Canelo, he was ordered to fight David Benavidez for like three years and he didn't fight fight him. So Oscar Del Hoya right there and there threw a jab at Canelo, making a combo shot and hitting Shakur Stevenson at the same time because this is what he said about Shakur Stevenson. He said that, uh, you know, Shakur Stevenson is a great fighter, but you're not my type of fighter and I'm not looking to sign you at all. <laughs> what? And basically, a lot of that is, is because he heard that Shakur Stevenson is committing 
to Eddie Hearn and Match Room. Is that the reason why your boy Oscar De La Hoya comes out and say that he don't want to sign Shakur Stevenson right before Shakur Stevenson makes his proper announcement? Huh? Inquiring minds want to know, and that's why your boy Prime Time got to bring it to you like a pro. So anyway, getting back to the back to Shakur Stevenson, he has been on fire as of late, going back and forth and back and forth with who, them, him, and everybody else from Bruce Shushu Carrington to Steven Jackson to Case uh, Cameron and, and Mace and uh, whoever else that was on social media at that time, my man Ishe. Um, so it's so many fighters that Shakur Stevenson were going at because he basically was saying that, hey, if they ain't got nothing good to say about me, I ain't got nothing good to say about them, so I'm speaking on Yeah. Wow, crazy, crazy, crazy. And also, Shakur Stevenson, after the fight, after his last fight with Artem, well, he basically was told by Terrence Crawford and Andre Ward that, hey, look, man, you ain't let no hands go, Shakur. And Shakur would say, hey, I did let my hand go. I was like, one, nah, 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 nah. And they're like, nah, you were, you were doing a lot of movement, but you won't let your hands go. And that is the tale of that tape. And that is right, really why everything is the way it is right now with Shakur Stevenson. is because he could have did more in that fight. But to his detriment, Artem was not allowing him to do that much. Artem was doing enough to make himself look good for another fight on his own because that was Shakur Stevenson's last fight with top rank. So Artem, he won and capitalized out of it more than Shakur Stevenson did because if he were to survive, which he did, he survived Shakur Stevenson. Well, that is going to be bigger money for him. That's going to be bigger fights for him and top rank. Top rank will be able to make some other fights with Artem because Artem is going to stay with top rank. So, Ty Rank wanted to make whoever was staying with Ty Rank look better than who was leaving. And that's why they showed the people leaving the stadium, leaving the fight arena of Shakur Stevenson fight. And that was, you know, nasty work by Ty Rank for doing so. But you think about it. You leaving a job to where the job feels as though, you know, they helped you, help mold you, help get you to where you are. And then you leave. They are going to act unaccordingly. So that's what you have. You have top rank. They are known to be, you know, <laughs> a little petty when it comes to fighters leaving like Mayweather. They don't show that many Mayweather fights or anything like that. They don't show that many Terrence Crawford fights because Terrence Crawford was with top rank as well. Mayweather was with top rank as well. And now you have Shakur Stevenson and they will probably do the same thing that they've been doing, you know, shunning away, not giving the proper respect to the fighters that shed their blood, sweat and tears for their banner, their logo, their brand, their promotion. You leave them, they pretty much don't care about you no more, you know. But Bob Arum did come out and say that, hey, you know, he feels as though he will be able to re-sign Shakur Stevenson. Shakur Stevenson didn't comment, but he gave the googly eyes, which I don't know what that means. I guess he said, hey, I'm looking, I'm waiting, I see. Um, in which, you know, I look at it as Shakur Stevenson will be able to go around and network with different fight promotions, being able to fight at different fight promotions like Canelo been doing. So I see it as no harm, no foul in him doing that. A lot of other fighters, once they start to build their name and their profile, they start doing it on their own, getting out and meeting with different promotions, promotional companies and managers and promoters to be able to lock in bigger and better fights without having all the different hands in their pockets. And that's somewhere that Shakur Stevenson definitely wants to go. So, yeah, 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 it's, it's, it's been crazy. You know, the Cameron and May situation with, with Shakur Stevenson, that went crazy because after they went in on Shakur, then Jay Prince got involved and Jay Prince, he said some things and then Cameron and Mace, they went back on Jay Prince and said some things, said that he was goofy, said that he was a lame, said that, you know, he he doing a 
young boy work, the young boy sending the old heads out to to take up for them, and it, it, it was a lot. It was a whole, whole lot that Cameron and May said, but a lot of it was true, and a lot of it wasn't. Um, I feel as though everybody is significant. Jay Prince is a significant factor in the music industry, and um, he also has been into the boxing thing for a while now so has he helped Shakur I, I would say rightly so but not being a good advisor is something I don't like you know I don't feel as though you should pour gasoline on the issue that Shakur Stevenson is in if anything I feel as though you should be a better advisor and advising him and things to do and what not to do what to say and what not to say because you know you're in a, a climate of cancellation where people cancel people just as fast as they help make them success well Shakur Stevenson is now at the helm of his career to where Mayweather when he left top rank he started when Terrence Crawford left top rank he started Shakur Stevens is now at that helm of that part of his career to where this is all on him. He can make and break his career. And saying that the fans don't, you don't care about what the fans think and all that stuff like that. Those are things you should not say. You know, and that's what I do agree with Cameron and Mason is that you should never say that you don't need fans or respect them or whatever the case may be. You should always love and respect your fans because those are the ones that help you be who you are. They are the ones that buy your stuff, buy your tickets, buy your shirts, and your merch. So uh, I would say that would be one of the things I would hope that he would regret saying and learn from him in the future. He's still learning. He's still young. So a lot of people just need to realize that Shakur Stevenson is coming to the age of his own now. And we just got to let him grow. Got to let him learn. Got to let him grow. Can't be overcritical of fighters because these guys are professionally getting hit in the head for a living, for a check to entertain us. And we should not downplay or downgrade any fighter or anyone for that matter that goes through that type of punishment for our entertainment. Now, the last part of this is that, hey, Delahoya, you, you got every right to say and sign whoever, but if you're doing that to discredit someone that makes you less than a boxer because you was once a boxer so at no time should you be doing that to a boxer to discredit them to make them seem less than or not worthy to be paid Shakur Steve Talk TV and I'm on social media everywhere definitely go to the website primetimetalktv.com and copy some merch alright y'all peace love I'm out till next time